Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we'll discuss how to run auto regressive distributed lag models in R. In his basic form, an ARDL regression model is given below. Yt is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 yt minus 1. So this is the lag of the dependent variable itself plus beta p yt minus p that's the last term plus alpha 0 xt plus alpha 1 xt minus 1 and the last term is alpha q xt minus q. Here we are using p here we, we are using q. So lags p and q can be different. So this is the specific case of the ERDL model plus epsilon t. Red ones are the auto regressive terms. The blue ones are the distributed lag terms where epsilon t is a random disturbance term. The dependent variable is a function of its lagged value, the current and the lagged value of the other exogenous variables in the model. Now we'll run the ARDL bounds test first. The null hypothesis of this is there is no long term relationship among the variables. Alternative is there is a long term relationship among the variables. When we run the bounds test, it will give us the F statistics I0 and I1. Our interpretation will be based on these values. If the calculated F statistics is greater than the critical value for the upper bound, I1. So if F statistics value is greater than I1, then we reject the null hypothesis, which means that there is a co-integration. So there is a presence of long-term relationship. Estimate the long-run model, which is the error correction model. The second scenario, if the calculated F statistics is lower than the critical value for the lower bound I0, means F statistics value is lower than I0, then we do not reject the null hypothesis, which means that there is no co-integration. So there is no presence of long-term relationship. Estimate the short-run model, which is an autoregressive distributed lag model, this one. If the F statistics falls between the lower bound and the upper bound, if the value is between these two, the test is considered to be inconclusive. Now let's see how we can run this in R. So first of all, we'll have to attach the data set. We'll go in environment. Let me clean this. Import the data set from Excel. The name of the data set is co-integration. The data set consists of time, GDP, PDI, PC. Now we will attach this data set, attach co-integration, run. To run the ARDL bounds test, we require the library dlagm. So go in tools, install packages, write down here dlagm. Make sure your internet connection is on and Press install. After this, activate its library. Library D lag M run. Now we'll write the command ERDL bound data is co-integration. That is the name of the data uh, data set. Formula GDP tilde PDA. So GDP is our dependent variable and PDI is the independent variable. Case one max dot P is 2 max dot q is 2 so when i specify case is equal to 1 for no intercept and no trend case equal to 2 for restricted intercept no trend equal to 3 for unrestricted intercept and no trend max dot p is maximum order for short trend coefficients max dot q is a maximum order auto regressive order let's run it and we'll directly go to the f test just see the value. So it is 1.94. We also got I0 and I1. So if this value is above I1 at 5% critical value, we are going to use error correction model. And if this value is below the I0, we are going to use the ERDL model. Let's see the interpretation. 
F statistics value is 1.94, which is less than I0. We are considering 5% critical value at 5% critical value. So we fail to reject null hypothesis, which means that there is no co-integration. So there is no presence of long-term relationship. Estimate the short-run model, which is the auto-regressive distributed lag model. Now let's run the model. Just, just let me zoom in. Okay. Model 1 is equal to ARDL M, ARDL D L M. X is PDI, which is our independent variable. Y is GDP. P is equal to 2. Q is equal to 1. Run. Summary of the model 1. So P is the lag of the independent series. Uh, let me specify this as a dependent. And this is independent and q is the lag of the independent series run it and let's do the interpretation so this is xt uh, x1 x2 and y1 let's understand what is xt xt is the current value of pdi this one, the current value of PDI is XT. If it is written X1, then it is lag, one lag of PDI. If it is written X2, it is two lag of PDI. If it is written Y1, then it is lag, one lag of GDP. Now let's do the interpretation. The current value of PDI XT, this, yeah, and the P value, this P value, is less than 0 0.05 so our interpretation is the current value of pdi xt significantly affects gdp the current value of gdp one unit in incre increase in pdi today increases the gdp by 0.699 units the pd the pdi x1 at lag one is insignificant the reason is this p value is more than 0 0.05 and therefore it is insignificant this was less than 0.05 in short wherever the stars are there one star two star three stars this means that this coefficients are significant let's proceed further the pdi x2 this it means that the pdi at lag 2 significantly affects gdp one unit increase in pdi at lag 2 decreases the gdp by 0.334 units. Now let's proceed further. This one, this is also significant because its p value is less than 0 0.05. The GDP at lag one significantly affects GDP, the current value. One unit increase in GDP at lag one increases GDP by 0.893 units. So we can run the ARDL model for more than two series also, model two, ARDLM formula GDP tilde PDI plus PC PC data is a co-integration uh, uh, the name of the data set is co-integration P is equal to 2 Q is equal to 2 run summary of the model the interpretation can be done in the same way so P is the lag of the independent series PDI PC Q is the lag of the dependent series now, the biggest disadvantage in the previous command is when we specify p is equal to 2, then it considers two legs for all the variables. But if you want to specify different legs for different independent variables, then we have to run the following command. For example, if you want to remove the second leg of pc, this we want to remove it. Then what we'll do, uh, this command we have already uh, we ran before. Now we want to remove the PC, P, the lag of PC at 2. So, rem.p is equal to list PC C2. Remove is equal to list P is equal to remove dot P. Run, run. Now, we will specify model 3, ERDLM, formula, GDP, tilde, PDI plus PC. Everything remains same. But one more uh, additional argument has been introduced. Remove is equal to remove. So it will not give me the coefficient of PCE2. Let's see. Run. 
run and you can see the PC2 is now uh, not generated. So this was all about uh, running auto regressive distributed lag models in R. For more videos on R, kindly subscribe to my channel. You will also refer my playlist in which I uploaded videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also follow me on different social medias, link given in the description box.